This is the season of dreams coming true. Just ask Virginia on 34th Street in New York. But on Penn Street in Tamaqua, Jada Shellhammer's wish wasn't granted by this guy. Oh, oh no. Her wish of playing softball in college was granted after a lot of hard work and dedication. Oh my gosh, since I was a little girl, like I've always wanted to work hard to get to where I am right now. I've been playing since I was like, Mm, like <laughs> four, um, since my dad put a ball in my hand, I've always loved it, and just like to be here is just a blessing. Some kids have sugar plums dancing in their heads. Not Shellhammer. She's known for a while now the reality of what it takes to have success on the softball field. Over the last two years throwing for Tamaqua, she struck out almost 300 batters and won 35 games while catching the attention of colleges. Her dream of playing at the next level came true when she committed to Lock Haven University. If Jada Shellhammer whipped a plastic dinosaur at you, it would take a while for the mark on your body to go extinct. Thankfully, at a young age, her dad Troy gave her a softball and she was introduced to the strike zone not too long after that. Yeah, she just launched toys all over the house, so yeah, so, but she started, uh, you know, she started, you know, being taught formally at about age five, so we started her pretty, pretty young, although, uh, you know, she's come a long way since then. Shellhammer's dad played baseball at Tamaqua. Oh yeah, he was a very good baseball player, and um, he knew that I was athletic as a kid, so he wanted to see what I can do. He knew I could throw, since I threw things at him. <laughs> so, um, yeah, ever since then, it's been, it's been a journey. It's a journey that started at second base, moved to the outfield, and then into the circle. I love the control, and I think that I can control the game in a sense that it's just like I can call my my teammates and they can all like build off of me. After the 2017 softball season, Tamaqua's Miranda Chinchar and Jada Shellhammer were named to the Class 4A All-State team. Chinchar's cousin is the Lady Raiders head coach, Jillian Barron, who watched both players grow up on the field. Shellhammer showed up freshman year with loads of talent and the work ethic to become a great pitcher, but she did need some work in certain areas. She's improved greatly. It, a lot of times with pitching it becomes a mental thing and that was the biggest thing to overcome with her. She has the, the athleticism, she has the versatility, she has the pitches, you know, she, it's just, you know, getting over that, that mental thing that not everything is a victory. You have to learn from, from your mistakes and from losses and it makes you a better person and she's, she's done that immensely along the way. Shulhammer admits she had a problem controlling her emotions on the field when she was younger, but some growing up and great teammates helped her out with that. They're the ones that I rely on. I don't, like, they don't rely on me. I rely on them to help me calm down and to help get through the game and, you know, be successful and it's always a good outcome and I mean I give all the props to all my teammates I've had over the years they've done a great job. Now when she's in the circle with the game on the line. My mom always calls me a, a, a cool cucumber so I mean I'm kind of like lackadaisical in a sense when I'm out there like I don't think of what I'm doing but I'm still having a blast all the time. So are you like that in other aspects like you're taking a test you're like all right I got this. Absolutely not. <laughs> Softball is like literally the only thing I'm like fine with. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's hard sometimes for me I get I get more excited than she does when she's on the mound you know. I'm, I'm like all tense and, and worried about games and she's just she just lets it roll and as a pitcher I guess that's what you really need you look for that you know that head game and she, and she has that too so Shellhammer is ready to dream another dream. She plans on studying physical education and health while playing softball at Lock Haven University. She wants to work with kids one day as she continues to use the lessons she learned in the classroom and on the softball field. I've learned a lot about myself through the game. Um, teamwork, I've learned a lot about that. I've learned how to control myself. Um, and I've learned just everything I really need to know about the game and in general. I mean, um, being on the field for so long, I've just always had a sense of knowing that like I'm there, but now that I've like come so long since freshman year, I mean, it's taught me how to push myself and to not stop until I reach my goals. For SSP TV Sports, I'm Ken Kara.